You become valuable on semen attention. Now you have self-control. You've been getting closer to God. You stand out. You are not like 90 some percent of the male population. So automatically you won't click with a lot of these women because a lot of these women belong to the world. A lot of these women are just not going to be on the same level as you. So when you talk to them, all it's going to be is surface level. And you'll even know your spirit will be like, bro, this is an HO. You know, she's not celibate. She's got a ton of bodies. I'm worth more. I deserve more. You know, it's just like when Proverbs says a righteous woman is like finding rubies. Well, you're, you're a righteous man, so you're like finding diamonds. Honestly, who can find a righteous man nowadays? Not many people. So you have a high price tag. Not just any woman can get with you. So understanding that, you'll be like, dang, well, I'm going to be alone for a long time. Yes, you probably will. But guess what? Trust God. Because if you're righteous, if you're celibate, you know what you'll attract? You will attract a like-minded woman. You will attract a woman that's also righteous. You will attract that ruby. You will. <laughs> yeah, some of these wicked women will try to come in your life, but so what? It's all a distraction. And you'll be able to tell the wicked woman from the righteous woman. You will be able to tell. God will give you that discernment. Ask God to give you that discernment. And what we need to realize, too, is especially if we're a young man, embrace it, man. Because now is the prime of your life. You are, the, you are feeling the best that you will ever feel. So the fact that semen can create a, a, a child, <laughs> it's a life force, it, may, it makes me think like, yes, semen retention is something I should be doing. It's something I should be retaining unless I'm trying to make a child. Because it's a life force. And if I'm releasing that twice a day, imagine all the vitamins, all the minerals, all the protein my body's losing. That's why I'm feeling fatigued. That's why my mind, that's why I'm all depressed. That's why my energy's all out of whack. It, I mean, it's it, it, it has an effect on the body, man. It has an effect on the body, you know, mental, physical, spiritual health. So it's something we gotta be retaining, man. If we don't have a wife, we should not be releasing. Point blank, period, man. I don't care. I don't care about the excuses y'all come up with. You should not be having sex outside of marriage. You shouldn't be releasing at all. You, you, unless you have a wife, you should not be releasing at all. And even if you have a wife, bro, I would still probably be retaining to an extent. I would probably go on seasons of retaining. And my wife would just have to understand that. Because as a man, we got to switch things up. We got to do what's best for ourselves. So you become valuable in the sense that, like, not many men are like you. Many men are just giving into their flesh. Just like a lot of women. So a lot of these women you just don't even want to mess with. Because they, they don't get it, man. They belong to the world. They don't get the level that you're on. They don't understand it. They don't understand the sacrifice. And I was watching a video, actually. And the dude was talking about how when we release, when we have a, an, an O, you know, when we have orgasm, the nervous system is, like, greatly affected. And he was saying how <clears throat> with women, yes, they don't release, but they have more intense, you know, O's than us. And it lasts longer, and they can have many. So, like... If a woman's having multiple O's in a session, like many, 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 like it's destroying her body because of the effect that it has on the nervous system and being more intense than a male's and lasting longer. So I was just like, dang, bro, they got me thinking like we shouldn't be abusing this stuff. Like many of us are abusing doing this. You know, we're not like we're taking what God's giving us and following what the devil did they what the devil's like twisted on you know how the devil loves to like twist god's like good things and make them bad that's kind of what we're doing with this like we're making god's act you know act of love into something bad and, and abusing it and, and it has consequences so yes we become valuable yes we we need to just continue retaining man we need it, it's a lifestyle man it's a lifestyle you begin to feel good you begin to feel more confident now yes I've noticed with myself having more testosterone, I'm much more competitive. I'm much more angry sometimes. I have a tough time like controlling my competitiveness and my anger oftentimes. And sometimes I'll see people and I want to fight them, man. <laughs> I need to I, I look I need to pray about it. I need to stop stop, you know, Thinking like that, it's a process, it's something new, it's something I'm experiencing for the first time, being on semen retention 49 days now. It's just how it is, it's all a new experience, but understand that every good thing has a bad thing, and that's one of the bad things I'm experiencing, but that's just how it is to be a man, that's just how it is to be a man, 
And when you become, when you get on semen retention, just life begins to change. You begin to think differently. You begin to act differently. And it's a confidence that cannot be faked. It's a con like all these red pill guys. Oh, you know, get a Rolex, get a chain, get a nice car, get a penthouse. You'll become confident. Okay, that's fake confidence. The confidence I got from semen retention is just legit, man. I don't got to be having all these fancy clothes on. I don't got to be having all this stuff. And I feel good. I feel like myself. I feel confident. I feel like the man God made me to be. So I'm valuable, man. I'm valuable, and I can't just get with any woman, man. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. And you also can't. Just remain patient. Keep praying to God about it. Have faith in God. Continue to be obedient to God. Develop a relationship. Spread the gospel. And make an impact. That's what we got to be doing as men. We got to make an impact. Because men build societies. Men build, basically, all these buildings that we see. Men fight the wars. Okay, you're a valuable dude. Now, women are valuable too. Don't get me wrong on that. Women, women are valuable too. But this is a man talk right now. Okay, this is a man talk. Men are, are kings. Like, come on, bro. Men fight. Men build. Men create. Men conquer. Men do all these things. So begin to unlock that potential. Don't just sit inside and play video games. Accomplish something. Get something done. Use this energy Use feeling amazing to do something worthwhile, man. That's going to make a positive change in society. You're valuable. Stop looking at all these women on social media, posting their bodies off, and just probably got 5, 10, 15, 20 bodies. Stop doing that, man. They ain't the one. God's going to send you the one. Now, now look. Now, look. I'm not just saying, oh, one day a woman's going to come to your house knocking on the door. No. We still have to take action. So if you're in the gym and a woman is like on the machine next to you and she keeps looking at you, talk to her because that may be the one. It may not be, but it may. And you have to take action. A woman's not going to, most women will not come up to you and be like, oh, hey, how's it going? No, no, no. They just get close to you and they expect you to make the move. So if you have a woman choosing you in public, talk to her because that may be the one. That may be a ruby. Only one way to find out. You got nothing to lose. The worst that can happen, no, I have a boyfriend. No thanks. But if she's choosing you, nine times out of ten, she's single. Okay? So, yeah, man, you become valuable. And you got to start acting like it. You got to start just living like it. You know? Living like a valued man. And understand that being valuable, you have a lot more standards basically you have a lot more things that like you got to be a role model okay you have a lot more things you have to what am i looking for i don't know man but you have a lot more things you just have to do and like being obedient being confident <laughs> like, i don't even know what i'm trying to say bro ah man like i'm still trying to look for the word but you just you're you have a high standard to follow, basically. You have a, a, a code, a rule. That's what you have to follow. You know, just like being a policeman, you have a code you have to follow. You have ethics you have to follow. So just like being a value man on semen session, you have to stay humble. You can't let it get to your head. You can't be like, oh, I'm, I'm above him. I'm above him. He plays with himself. No, bro. No. You can be confident, but don't become arrogant. Don't become prideful because guess what? God can take it away from you. God can take away how you feel. God can, tempt, God can let the devil tempt you. God can take the Holy Spirit out of you, and then you'll fall back in and you'll relapse. So just know, man, it's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. It gets lonely. You won't be able to connect with a lot of these women because you're, they're all not celibate. They're all playing with a lightsaber. And you're just celibate, you know, becoming more spiritual, getting close to God, getting disconnected from the flesh. And women can sense the vibe. Now, a lot of women will be attracted to that because a lot of women have demons in them. A lot of women have, you know, are a vessel for demons to jump in and out of. I mean, they slept with 5, 10, 15, 20 guys at least. So the demons want to take that light. They want to take that energy. 
they want to suck you dry, honestly. <laughs> That's what they want to do. So if a woman comes into your life, just ask God, give you discernment, and let you know if she's sent from Him or not. Like, comment what you want to see next. I'll see you next time.